Kimberly Perizzoli is paying a visit to cardiac rehab. She had spent a lot of time here. Two years ago, at 49, she was leading a normal life, taking care of her parents and eight-year-old daughter. When things changed, she was tired all the time and fighting constant back pain. Never, never once did I think I was having a heart attack. She called paramedics and said she was having chest pain, even though the pain was in her back and jaw. As soon as they hooked me up, the paramedic looked at me and she said, you're having a heart attack. The classical symptom really involves chest discomfort. However, uh, it's possible to have a heart attack in the absence of chest pain. Dr. John Canto from the Watson Clinic in Lakeland, Florida, and co-authors analyzed data from a national registry. Researchers assessed whether a man or woman's age is associated with symptoms of a heart attack and also the risk of dying from one. Younger uh, women had a higher risk of dying after heart attack compared to similarly aged uh, men, but that difference in uh, mortality markedly declined with increasing age. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Women were more likely than men to present with atypical uh, symptoms following a heart attack, that is the absence of chest discomfort. But it was most pronounced in the younger age group, less than 55. Researchers say these atypical symptoms did show a decline as women and men aged with no difference in symptoms and outcomes in the oldest age group. Also, patients lacking classic heart attack symptoms were more likely to delay seeking treatment. If a patient is more likely to delay, a patient is less likely to be denied, diagnosed promptly and receive life-saving treatment. Kimberly did receive that life-saving treatment. Two stents were placed in her heart. If you have a family and you have people who depend on you or even a career that you love, you need to take care of you or else you won't be there to take care of anybody else. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.